Even though our world is increasingly connected, the way we manage the natural resources we consume, grow the food we eat, source the water we drink and produce the energy we use is not. When we plan solutions to these problems one by one without thinking about how they interact, we often make other problems worse. But if you zoom out, you can see that the problems of sustainable development are all connected. As the demands on our planet increase with growing populations, we need to change our approach to meet the sustainable development goals. We need a strategy to guide our investments in landscapes so that achieving one goal doesn't undermine our ability to achieve the others. Integrated landscape management connects all the groups with a stake in a place to make decisions about development while weighing all the goals together. For example, in Colombia, public-private partnerships for integrated watershed management are improving water quality, saving the city of Bogota more than $3 million a year in water treatment costs and reducing risk for food and beverage makers. By using a landscape approach, we can make integrated, more sustainable decisions for our future. When people with interests in a landscape come together to discuss and negotiate, using a landscape management approach, they can come up with innovative solutions to their problems. Solutions that have multiple benefits for all of society, health, climate and environment, instead of competing with each other. This process is not always easy. Disagreements, power imbalances and mistrust sometimes exist. But facilitated, open discussion and integrated planning produce better results for all parties. Interconnections between sectors become clear, trade-offs are mitigated and more sustainable landscapes are the result. The sustainable development goals apply to everyone. We cannot achieve all the goals if we work on each one individually. We need to invest with an integrated landscape management approach. To get started, visit the Landscapes for People Food and Nature initiative at peoplefoodandnature.org 